So it's finally time to start making zines. Um, I've, I've actually been wanting to make this video for a really long time. I think even if you've never made a zine in your life, or anything like weird or creative or just kind of out there, I'd say go for it. Um, got these nice little like two and a half inch ones. Um, got a little zine box I made. And I have templates for all this stuff too. I'm just going to go over the whole process, but there's so much cool stuff you can put in here. Like, I've put like a little tutorial on using YT-DLP that I've been really happy with. And I'm just going to hand it to people. Be like, hey, here's the zine. Or maybe I'll, you know, just leave it in the McDonald's bathroom. You know, someone, someone will find it there, right? And, yeah, it just goes over the whole little thing here. Um, has four panels per, um, per page. Uh, you just kind of fold them up. And look, I got the uh, the 30 year old boomer there, cause I I'm hip with the kids. So yeah, you just uh, go over to my archive.org page here, and if we scroll down, we've got this nice little um, download thing at the bottom. Um, we hit this um, nine original. That's gonna give us the four files we need. So we'll just uh, bring that up. Then uh, it's these four OGG files right here. So just these right here. And you can just copy them wherever. And got all four templates open right now, actually. So first, I've got like a blank one. So if you don't want like a watermark or anything like added on there, um, you can just download LibreOffice Draw, which is what this is using right now. Um, or Microsoft Publisher, both of those applications will work. LibreOffice Draw and Microsoft Publisher. Um, it's got the little squares on here, so you know where to fold, you know where to cut, and you can just throw in your content. Um, it's really nice. And if you wanted to redo the lines, then that's pretty easy too. You can just throw in a line and use the, uh, the properties on the right here. So. If we wanted to move this over from um, the uh, three inch X position, we could do five right there, hit enter, and boom, it's right there on the five. Um, take that out later. And I've also got one uh, template that does actually have um, like a watermark, just kind of plugs my channel, uh, just so people can make uh, their own little dog ear. Uh, zines over there from my channel and you know if they want to go through the video or just go to the archive.org link um, it also says that you're not using AI art so if you are using AI art in your zine just don't use my template I not use my template. you can still use my template <laughs> use the blank one just don't use um don't use the uh, the one with the watermark I, I don't want to be associated with, with uh, that crap so pretty easy process you just download the files start editing them and then you've got this nice little fold thing going on so you've got this right here where we can uh, kind of cut it up got to be sort of careful but not too careful uh, the great thing about zines is they're not perfect so even if you're like you know a few millimeters off or something like that then you just don't sweat it um, just gonna cut off all of the uh, the edges here, all of that excess paper, which, which really isn't too much. I try to get most of it within most uh, printer margins. So get that cut up, and then we're gonna throw this into um, three separate columns. So I'm just gonna cut that up into three parts, uh, sort of carefully, but not too too carefully. Like you, just, you do what you can. And we got the uh, the three of them over here, and you'll just immediately want to just like fold it from the uh, the back on here. So fold it back, and then fold it back again to where the um, just like the front covers and the front cover that kind of thing. And at the very end, I'm just gonna make a little dog ear in the top left, and that's gonna hold it together. Now you can either have like a it's a really you know, big dog ear or small dog ear. I'm not here to police your dog ear sizes. That's it's not for me to judge. 
but yeah you get three of them together you could technically dog ear three of these together but at that point you may as well just use a different template or modify the one there and then the very end get to throw it in the uh the little zine box uh to be placed in the bathroom near you um yeah don't don't actually do that though <laughs> i can't i can't endorse that um don't don't do that don't just throw it in the bathroom maybe maybe just ask if they'll let you put it in there wherever you want to put your box um but yeah so i've got this one here it's that uh, zine i made and what I'm going to do is I'm um, just going to make a few adjustments. So you'll notice this column on the right here is blank. And also that YouTube part there is red. So we're going to highlight the YouTube logo if we can. That's doable. There we go. And then the far right on here, there's going to be these lines. We're going to use that to go to... Oh, you know, select it again these lines here there we go we're gonna change it from default to uh, to grayscale and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna click on each part of this here so we'll do this text box down here hold down shift click keep holding down shift and click on the one above it keep on holding down shift and do the one above that Shift for the uh, the elements right there. Shift. 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 I think I got them. And then hold down Control and press C as in Charlie. Then V as in Victor. Control V as in Victor. And we're going to do a little bit of a... Oh. Okay, messed that one up. So let's pretend we got it. So hold down Shift. Get that one. You have to do the corners of these too for the text boxes. So hold down control uh, shift and then click. And I'm I'm just gonna do a few of these right now. I don't really have the best control. So control C, control G, and then we're gonna hold down the right arrow key. Now just imagine if I had actually gotten that whole column right there. That would have looked really impressive. But you can at least imagine. Uh, yeah, that's just holding down the right arrow key. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that 40% keyboard, people. Um, your keyboard's too small. It, it doesn't make sense. So, anyway, um, yeah, zines have been around for a minute. Um, they used to be around for, like, sci-fi stuff or other fiction. Uh, just about every hobby had, like, a zine and distribution networks. Um, it had, like, the first Yowie. Uh, with the whole, like, Spock and Kirk from Star Trek being shipped really hard. Um, they're being shipped so hard that there's still a convention for uh, Captain Kirk and Spock um, shipping. That, that's still, like, a thing. And they've got, like, these giant zine collections from back in the day with all that Yowie. Um, speaking of Yowie... Kamikat, they also, I, I can't show literally anything that they sell at that at, at Kamikat, but at least not on YouTube. Um, you know, they do their little dojinshi, which is, dojinshi is like, um, it's, it's basically zines, but fancier. Just means uh, independent stuff, so. Anyway, uh, we're going to get that box going here in a minute, but first, you're going to want a nice little printer, so just just get a brother printer. That's my recommendation. Just get a brother printer that only prints. Don't need the scanning or anything. Or just print off stuff at work or school. Um, try not to get yelled at or fired. Totally viable, though, um, if you want to print out a bunch of stuff for free. And then you're going to want to get this little paper cutter thing here that I used. Um, either that or a more fancy one. Looks like you can cut off your finger with this one, but you really can't. I mean, you could try, though. You could take off the safety and probably get your finger off then, but at that point, it's a little bit too much effort. Um, yeah, get that paper cutter, too, if you want it. And then just start just leaving your zine at the cafes. Like, ask, like, hey, can I put my zine here? And a lot of times they'll say yes. Um, 
or at park benches you don't have to ask the manager if you can leave those on a park bench so just have at it <laughs> or or you go to those, those dirty like hipster bars I say don't leave these in bathrooms but I'm gonna make an exception for dirty hipster bars uh, those don't deserve the courtesy clearly no one had any courtesy at this bathroom right here so yeah um, let's see yeah, this dude's video right here. I'm gonna throw it in the description. He's gonna show you how to do the boxes. If you want to, if you want me to show you how to the boxes, um, I do have a video of that right now. And if this doesn't work out, you've got that other video right there that you can watch. So look, we got both sides. Um, both parts of these right here come from this uh, box template. And the first page has a little text telling you to turn it horizontally when you're folding. And this part right here, that's going to actually show up on the front of the box. And you can take off the, um, the actual box around here. You can add your own text. Um, it's more like a rough estimate of the area that's going to be in the front. Same for the, uh, the second page. Uh, that's where the, uh, the other part of it's going to be. Let's take a look here though. So, you're going to flip it to the side, just showing you both sides here. You're going to want to have the, uh, the top page be the one with the text on it right there. Then we're going to fold it twice. So, you fold it over all the way like once, and then you go ahead and you fold it like a second time. It's going to be a little bit janky. I'm not really known for the paper crafts. Um, so get folded again and then we're gonna undo this uh, this fold one time here then I flip it around like this here you really don't have to but that's why I do just uh, twist it around then we're gonna do this little flap here you gotta take it right into that crease so there's a crease right here you're gonna want to get your triangle for this this valley fold right into this crease here uh, you may have to redo it a few times if it's too sloppy. Uh, but being a little sloppy is not bad. So anyway, you get that one into the crease right here. Notice the, the page below it isn't actually folded, just the one on the top. And now we're going over to the folded over side where it has both pages in it. Uh, try to get it as good as you can. Uh, it's really just like a best effort type thing. Then we got the uh, this last part here. And once we get this part together, it's starting to look a little bit like a spaceship. And so we're going to take this spaceship, we're going to fly it. We're going to fly into the world of zines. So then we go on the side here. We're going to fold this into, there's really not a crease there, but there's almost like an implied crease. We fold it into this part here. It's going to look like a little wing on our spaceship. Um, so that's me just kind of making sure it's really folded in there. Um, once it is, though, yeah, we got the other end here. We're going to do the same thing. Okay, it's more of an implied crease. Like, there's not actually a crease there, but you can see where one would be. And that's where we're making the crease. Now we got wings. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fold in this top part of the uh, spaceship. We're going to fold that right in there. You see we got the uh, the front logo on there, so it's going to be kind of like double enforced. And yeah, we're going to flip that in there, and then we're going to do this whole little thing. We're going to push it into where it's a box. It's a really weird motion, so you, you have it flat, and you get your thumbs in there, all the way in there, and you push both parts of the uh, the paper from that flap in there. Start pushing in with your thumbs and you make that thing a box. It may not want to be a box, but you're going to make it a box. You get really creased in there. It's going to be a little messy, but it's still pretty clean. Uh, then we get this corner here, if you're looking at it from the back, and we make that into a little knife. And that gives us this other back part here. So you get that little stabby stab right there. Make that into a knife. And then we stab that into the inside. We do a little tuck. Uh, you know, tucking ain't easy though, as you can see right here. It's uh, it's 
not all what it's cracked up to be. Talking, talking, um, cats. It takes it takes longer than you think. So anyway, oh no, oh, it skipped the other other half. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Now this is okay. It's completed the tuck sequence right here. So then, once we finish this part, <laughs> we go to the other part. We make it a little knife with that too. So you get as pointy as you can. You smush it in there like a triangle. It doesn't look like it can do it, but it's uh, it's like a little wallet almost. You go and you tuck that part in. And again, this is all kind of best effort. Like, I say box, but it, it's a it's kind of kind of a box it's mostly a box uh, you may want to make like 10 of these to kind of get a feel uh, at the end here once I got this one into a box I'm just gonna bring over the better box just to kind of prove that I know how to make boxes but it doesn't always work out like I want to say like one out of every five boxes I make looks good and you can throw it around too. look it's sturdy you know throw it on like a pair of dice like it's nothing and then we have this one right here. This this one looks a lot better. I, I threw all my zines on that one because I'm proud of it. Uh, but yeah, watch this dude's video if you want a better explanation of that part. It's going to look be like way clearer. So anyway, we're putting the boxes on the benches. We're putting them in the cafes. We're putting it in wherever this place is. And you can do any kind of zine. You know, you can make a zine about local news um you can have like a zine about your favorite video games and just leave them around unsolicited um you can put stuff about like the gnu core utils if you want to do a little tutorial sort of like i did for the uh, yt hyphen dlp thing which is that's cli it's not it didn't have anything to do with the gnu core utils but it's kind of like in that same you know command line kind of vein so it's perfect for stuff like that um you can put little like instructions on making TIC80 like little video games on there you know they have this for like Pico 8 but TIC80 is free so you should probably start you know making zines about that and also don't don't print anything stupid um attention all of your printers have like tracking dots on there uh so yeah don't don't just post your fucking whatever gross ass stuff you're gonna make with your zines try to be not a gross person or don't put your dissident political opinions on these pieces of paper either um actually don't put any of your your political stuff on the paper i don't i don't like political stuff everyone's pretty sick of political stuff at this point so stop stop making political zines just make a fun one um, or you could do like a zine about, you know, recent wrestling events and like results. Um, and put your poetry on there too. Uh, this is also a really good example. It's, uh, what is it? This Charlie, Charming Charlie. If you're like a, a Smiths person, you know, they got all the lyrics, but they're with, uh, you know, with the Peanuts comics and Snoopy. I, I'd recommend it. And then you can have um, little zine rings where you guys talk about making zines. Uh, you collaborate on them. You get your little like IRC or your Discord friends together. And you're like, okay, you guys got to print them out for this area. We're going to work on this zine, that kind of thing. That'd be a lot of fun. And then at the very end, like, on... um. On this, you'll notice, um, tell people to take two. So, take two copies. One for yourself and one to trade. And the reason for that is you can collect them, you know? Get, like, a shoebox, and then you put, like, a year on it, and then every year you'll have, like, a shoebox of different zines you've collected. And you can just take two. You can hand one to someone else, trade it for zines that you don't have, that kind of thing. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's a really fun hobby to get into. 
and the possibilities are, are like limitless like I don't know anything you do with paper so yeah consider like making it and then also um, if you do make one of these go ahead and just post in like the comments or somewhere where I can see it and I'm, I'm probably gonna do like a showcase video with this um, you know just show all the zines that people have made the different groups they formed interesting content because there's a lot of like you know stuff you can brighten people's day up with or educate people that kind of thing um, just let me know that um, also if you're on YouTube uh, just know that when you post a comment it may not always go through so maybe like log out and make sure your comments actually showing because they, they get like auto moderated and I, I don't have any like control over it so yeah do that and yeah I, I'm totally be up for making like a video on like showing everyone zines and their progress and stuff 